Welcome back, everybody. We have an emergency episode of Blocked today, and I have Alex Bennett joining me. Alex, welcome to the show. Thank you, Jordan. So happy to be here. So happy you're here. Hmm. We have a deep conversation to get into because, Alex, who blocked you? Well, Dave Portnoy blocked me. And, um, and what did he block? He blocked my, not my, your blocked episode about Danielle Bernstein of We Wore What? Yes. Blocked it. So, um... I'm sure a lot of people know what happened on the Dave Portnoy show today, or they will because this is airing around the same time. Yes. It's it, it's it's 5.30 right now. Yes. This airs tonight at 8. Yes. This is basically live. But give us a quick spiel for everyone who maybe doesn't know what's going on with the Daniel Bernstein thing. So Jordan runs or hosts a show here at Barstool called Blocked. Yes. Where you ask people if you've ever been blocked, and if so, if they'll share their story. Correct? Correct. So you asked me, Jordan comes up to me and says, you ever been blocked? I say, you know what I have? I've been blocked by this girl that runs We Wore What named Danielle Bernstein. She blocked me because I was commenting about photoshopping on her photos. If you just hear that part of the story, you might be wondering, what on earth, Alex? 100%. This story has to have context, which is why we're doing this. Exactly. So Jordan and I sit down and Jordan interviews me. And what I explain is three years ago, I interned in New York City and I lived in a building for one month. I lived in the same building as Danielle. And I didn't know who Danielle was, but my friends could tell that we lived in the same building. At this time, she was under fire for photoshopping photos. So my friends would be like, okay, do you see this girl in the building? Like, you live in the same building? I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, send me your account. And I'm like, I do see her. And they're like, "Is she? does she photoshop her photos? So I get on her account, and I would see the outfits, and then I would see the photos posted. Twice, I commented back to my friend Shelby. I tag her, I'm like, yeah, Shelby. Yes, yeah, this is photoshopped. And boom, second time, I get blocked. Um, that is the story. And we posted the video. Everything was fine. It was very well edited. I personally don't think it sounded like we were attacking her by any means. You were just giving your opinion. We had other people watch it. They thought it was very well done. But then all of a sudden, I don't know, was it even 24 hours? Mm -hmm. Dave Portnoy texted you asking you to do what? He texted me and said, I'm friends with Danielle Bernstein, period. And I was like, like laughing because this is Dave. So I'm like, oh, my God, that's funny. Like, he's kind of actually going to give this video a little. Like, I was like, this is going to go on Twitter. This is hilarious because why on earth? Maybe they're friends, but he doesn't actually care. Yeah. Um, turns out he's dead serious. Oh, yeah. They're, he's like, no, we're friends. Like, I see her sometimes in the Hamptons. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, you, he's, he said to me, he's like, you're being a mean girl by commenting about her Photoshopping. And I'm like, well, hold on. Is it being kind commenting this? No, it's not. It's not the nicest thing ever. But being a mean girl would me would be me saying either she's ugly, either she's fat. It would be something of that magnitude. That's not what I'm saying. She's actually quite cute and has pretty well curated style. But she photoshops. Yes, that's a fact. I wouldn't go comment like Khloe Kardashian's under fire right now for photoshopping. I don't know. I've never seen Khloe in person. Don't have a dog in the fight. I lived in this girl's building, so I'm like, yeah, she does. That's it. Yes. The most shocking part to me, though, is that Dave's like, I'm friends with this person. So take it down. Yeah. I'm like, we work at Barstool. Everyone everyone blogs, does all these things based off assumptions all day long. Sorry, mine was actually factual. Well, Barstool is created to be this place where we can pretty much say whatever we want. Like, we can be outspoken here. We can have an opinion here. But not with this video. Mine's very close to even a non-opinion. Yes. I'm not going into some... I'm never going to go into somebody's comments... And be like, wow, she photoshopped this if I'm just guessing. Yeah. I lived it. I would see the outfits and I would see that. And I was like, oh, yeah, she does. It's in the news. She's under fire. She's under fire. This girl's under fire for a lot of things. But I'm not going to touch the small business yes. claims to stealing the designs. None of that. Because the only thing I know firsthand was what I saw. And it's a known fact that she does Photoshop. It is literally a known fact. We have evidence. You've seen it firsthand. That's the story. It's, it, is it nice? No, is it is it the level of mean girl? It's it's not. You don't get to just call on the Dave Portnoy show. He repeatedly says that's mean girl. That's mean girl. And I'm like one on the scale of mean things at this at this office. It's not mean girl. Yeah. Two. It's it's true. Yeah. You don't have to like it, but we can all agree it's a fact. Well, and I think the biggest thing with this video is that it's not really that we said that she was photoshopped. It was the fact that Dave Portnoy just decided to remove the video. When they've never done this. Well, I got to say this. He did give us two options. I remember he said, yeah, he said right. you can take down the video or you can make another video saying that I asked you to remove the video. Like this one right here? Yes. J- j- like this one right here? So now we're making that video. He said you can make another video saying I asked you to remove the video, 
but you're not going to. So let it be known on the record. He did ask us to remove the video, but we're going back up because we're not mean girls. And I don't know in what world we started texting people being like, hey, yo, I have like a mutual friend. Could you just like remove that video? We're going to be removing videos all day. Right? Well, and I'm pretty sure, and I don't know this for sure, but I'm pretty positive Dave Portnoy or other people here have said things about other people's friends and that content has stayed up all day. We're in the business of content. I think someone said that there's only been two videos ever removed at Barstool. How on earth is being one, one of them? them. How on? I, I don't know. Like all... The video was one thing about the blocked video. I was like, whatever about the blocked video. It was three years ago. I mean, it happened. It's really not going to be that big of a deal. She's been under fire about it a lot. This is really nothing new, but I actually am blocked. That, that to me is in the past. It's more about the fact that we had to take it down. Exactly. What on earth? Because that's double standards. Double standard Dave. Double standard Dave. Double standard Dave. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I, I also just don't love that he kept referring to you as mean girl because... You weren't being a mean girl. We're going to shut that narrative down. He mentioned, he said Alex Cooper also got caught for photoshopping. And let me tell you what she did. She took that controversy in stride. Yep. And she owned it. Yep. She's made multiple Call Her Daddy episodes, went on Drew Barrymore. Own, uh, that's more relatable than anything. And now she even like she even posts about it on her Instagram where she goes, I wanted to photoshop this, but I didn't because I realized what it was doing to my audience. What? That's what, I, that's what I'm talking about. And and Danielle's over here texting somebody to take down a video that had 2,000 views at the time. Texting her friend. Texting her friend. I'm like, and for a guy that loves loyalty, I'm like, what this chick you see sometimes in the Hamptons? Ooh, let's quick dive into loyalty. Right on, be free. What do you want to, what do you want to dive in about? I just feel like at Barstool, we are loyal to the people we work with. Yeah. And I didn't feel that this time. No, I felt like he was loyal to some girl that texted him. And I'm like, dang. There's not a lot to go off of. Like, you and I haven't had a ton of chances yeah. to show our loyalty, but I do feel but like we have. And at the end of the day, like, we don't mean any ill will. We literally just want to get the point across of why it was wrong, why it was a double standard, and why Alex and myself are not mean girls and why we're shutting that narrative down. Yeah, me, it's crossed out. Our crossed character out. was called into question, therefore, here's our video back. What are, you go- what are we going to do? Lie down? Alex, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. What a day it's been. And I would say that was a pretty dang successful blocked interview. Yeah, I think. Who knew? Yeah. They could grow legs. Who knew? And everybody, that was blocked. Thanks for tuning in.